So tip number one will be regarding the easy tube. So for the easy tube, there is two types of easy tube. One for the total cholesterol, which is a bit shorter. You see the black line here. And the other one for the lipid profile, which is a bit longer. You see the black line here, right? So do not interchange and interuse, right? And you'll have uh, either too much blood or too little blood, right? And next one is very important when you're using the easy tube, right? We have two parts here. This is the neck and this is the head. When you're taking the sample, make sure you're holding the neck. Do not hold the head here because the head here has a hole for the suction. If you're closing this part, you won't be able to suck the blood later, right? So hold the neck during blood collection and then proceed to uh, place it horizontally to the drop of blood and it should suck quite quickly to the top of this black line here okay do not put it this way right because gravity will pull it down and you you'll be harder to suck it up and do not put it this way you don't have to put it this way yeah so just horizontally hold by holding the neck touch the blood the blood will be sucked into the uh, capillary tube okay until the black line here it will stop immediately and then when you need to put the blood sample into the strip then you hold the head and then you put it this way and press one shot okay this is the right way to use it okay Tip number two is for you to reduce the pain for your patient when you prick them, right? So firstly, the, the tip is to massage the finger before pricking and then to hold the finger, right? Hold for five seconds and you can do it now. You'll feel that actually this area here is a little bit numb already. And continue the pressure, right? Continue the pressure and put the lensing device on the skin and when you put the lensing device on the skin you want to put it firmly okay you want to put it firmly so that it doesn't shake i see a lot of people when they prick the finger they normally want to be gentle and they want to you know uh, be just on top of the skin but this one makes actually makes the patient even more painful because when you click this the whole thing will shake right and the needle shakes inside the skin which makes it a more painful experience so what you want to do firmly on the skin click it right and the area that you should prick should be around the areas that are not covered when you do this so all these areas here is actually less pain so you want to prick around here don't prick here because there is a lot of nerve endings here and it will be more painful Tip number three, if you want to check your lipido care, you can actually find a check strip inside the box of your analyzer. It looks like this. This strip actually checks if the system inside is working properly. Right, so to use this check strip, switch on your meter. Okay, and then you hold this two button here to enter the checking mode. And then what you want to do is to just place it in it will start the timer for 10 seconds. So if the analyzer is working properly, it will show you an OK. Tip number four, when the machine is actually doing the countdown, analyzing your test, please do not move it here, move it there, do not change the position. Just leave it as it is. Yeah? We do not want to mess up any of the uh, results later. Tips number five, when we prick the finger, right, after pricking, do not squeeze like this for the blood. Do not do this because when you do this, the plasma actually gets mixed up with the blood that you want to collect. 
So what we do always is to massage the finger like this to get the best accuracy.